Hello friends, let's start off with a new chapter, chapter 7, that's permutations and combinations. In this chapter, we'll be learning about what is a permutation, what's a combination and its concepts. So in this chapter, we'll be learning about permutations and combinations. So what is the definition of permutations, we'll just see. Uh, where the permutation is nothing but the number of possible arrangements. We determine the number of possible arrangements given us some e items. How to arrange them in different possible arrangements we can do or uh, different ways we can possible ways we can arrange that. That is nothing but permutation. Combination is selection of all sets of objects. So selection of all sets of objects. Given set of objects, how do we select them? That is nothing but combination so we'll just be taking examples and doing that before that we'll just see what is the principle of counting if any event occurs in m different ways and another event occurs in n different ways the total number of possible events is nothing but it's equal to m into n or m cross n so now this is this principle of counting principle of uh, multiplication all these will be using in this permutations and combinations so where we'll be using we'll just see that also when we are doing the problems so first here we have what is suppose we are taking some examples we'll take some examples the number of to determine the number of all possible arrangements so now we are for permutations if you take suppose you are taking uh, two bottles colored bottles we are taking two bottles and two caps okay so these bottles here you are having these bottles are nothing but in two colors you are having two bottles yellow blue and two caps red and green so how do we arrange them determine all the possible number of arrangements which we can make from this so now you can put for this yellow bottle you can right then for this yellow bottle you can put a blue uh, red cap next for the blue bottle you can put red cap for the blue bottle you can put green cap so these are the number of arrangements which you can make so you'll be getting different types of bottles of this so for yellow we are putting with red and green blue also we are putting with red and green so these are the number of possible arrangements which we can make from the two give given uh, whatever the objects over here so now for combinations how do we use suppose you're having uh, three uh, alphabets suppose you're having a b c now we have to arrange them taking two or together so how do we arrange them taking two together you can write it as a b then you can write it as a c then you can write it as b c so now we are taking two at a time means this is the way you can write that is a b c taking two together how do we arrange here this alphabets is a b a c and b c this is the number of possible a uh, selection of all sets of objects we, we are taking two sets of objects from this three set of objects how do we arrange them this is all the possible ways we can or selection of uh, all sets of objects from three given uh, alphabets so this is the way we do this is for combinations and the above one is for permutations we do that so now we when we go into the next part that is what is a factorial we'll see what is factorial we'll see over here you know that factorial we denote it as n factorial or factorial n can be denoted in this way this is the notation which you're having so how do we write this we'll just see and in fact this factorial plays a very important role in permutations and combinations so we can write this as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 so on 3 into 2 into 1 so it can be written in this way or even we can write this suppose it is also written from that side also that is 1 into 2 into 3 so on up to n you can write it in this way or you can write it in as the above one so now for factorial what kind of role does it play we'll just see how do we write 5 factorial we'll see we'll write it as 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 or you can also write it as 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 5. These two methods you can write. And also you can denote this as factorial 5 can be denoted in this way also. Now we also have that factorial 1 which is equal to 1 factorial is equal to 1. Also 0 factorial is equal to 1. 
then how do we write what is 10 factorial we'll just see 10 factorial can be written as 10 into 9 into 8 into it can be written as factorial because 7 factorial is nothing but it's equal to 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so this can be 10 factorial can also be written in that way so now when we have suppose you're having you are given some x is equal to 6 factorial by 3 factorial how do we write this we'll see you can write it as 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 factorial divided by 3 factorial so 3 factorial and 3 factorial will get cancelled so it is equal to 6 into 5 into 4 which is equal to 26 or 120 so in this way you can write this or if you having 7 factorial by 5 factorial how do you write this 7 into 6 into 5 factorial divided by 5 factorial which implies this 5 factorial will get cancelled so this is 42 so now we have two formulas which you have to remember about this the two formulas which you can remember here is for permutation we have npr is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial where r lies between 0 and 1 r lies or it's equal to 0 and n now what is for combination what do we have we'll just see for combination the formula given is ncr is equal to n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial this is the formula which we are having so these this is a uh, this is important so if you remember all these you can understand what is uh, co the concepts of permutations and combinations so we'll go into what is the first exercise which we are having here is exercise 7.1 so what are the problems we'll just see over here while doing these problems we'll see what are the first problems in this so going into the exercise so let's start off with the exercise 7.1 exercise 7.1 what is the first problem we'll see how many three three digit numbers can be formed from the digits 1 2 3 4 and 5 assuming that the repetition of the digits is allowed and second repetition of the digits is not allowed so we are now you are having you have to find out from the solution part what we have is here you have to find out three digits over here so here in this first place it can be either 1 2 3 4 and 5 so we have to form a three digit number so the first condition which we having here is repetition of the digits is allowed so you can have here one in the first place the second place also you can have one the second digit the third digit also can be one then the first can be one two three then two one one it can have repetition of digits isn't it so it can have all of them as triple five also so this how many combinations can we make this number we'll just see so we have to use here the principle of multiplication principle by multiplication principle so we have what is called as counting principle isn't it so by taking from the concepts we have seen what is multiplication principle here we can see that the first digit can be filled by any of these numbers 1 2 3 4 5 in 5 ways so by multiplication principle you will get it as 5 and the second one is also filled the second digit can be filled in again one of these numbers in again five ways that is into five again the third digit also can be filled by one of these numbers in five ways that is one two three four five any of these numbers can be filled so this is equal to by multiplication principle it's equal to five into five into five so which is equal to one twenty five so here you can see that all these values that is the three digits can be filled in this many ways that is in 125 ways so this is the answer which we are getting for the first one go to the second what one. is the second one we'll say repetition of the digits is not allowed 
so here again by the principle of multiplication only multiplication principle only we'll get so now here in the second condition second uh, what it's given is repetition of the digits is not allowed means once you're using one over here you cannot use one again in any of the digits over here so one can be either now when you are using here in the first place first you can use any of the digits is it one two three four or five so by multiplication principle again we can see so in how many ways you can write the first digit in five ways five ways because it can be any of the digits and but in the second digit over here whatever we are doing for the, uh, using in this multiplication principle if suppose one is used what is left out two three four and five this can be done in how many ways four ways now when these two are fixed what is the third number which we can use suppose we are fixing even two is also there so now this three four five can be done in three ways so therefore here you are getting it as four three is a twelve twelve five is a sixty 60 ways this can be done with the, where repetition is not allowed of the digits is not allowed this is the number of ways you can do this how many three digit even numbers can be formed from the digits one two three four five six if the digits can be repeated so if the digits can be repeated again here in the same way we'll be doing this problem how we did the previous one here you are having three digits have to be formed three digit all should be even numbers so now here you are having uh, what are the even numbers from this digits which we are having you are having it as two four six so now here it should be an even number but these are the even numbers so if they are there in the units place if two four or six is there then it becomes an even number so now here you can from the given digits what are the digits which you are having 1 2 3 4 5 3 4 5 and 6 so from this if in the units place you are going to get it as 2 4 and 6 then it is said to be an even digit so here how do we write this you can see the first uh, here it can be if the digits can be repeated also is telling so here you can take first digit can be any one of them it can be either it can it can be done in six ways again by you by multiplication principle the first digit can be done in six ways now the second even the second digit can be done in how many ways six ways but the third digit which we are having here is it can be only one among these even numbers because two four six are even no so it can be only one of these even numbers so this can be done in three ways so therefore you are going to get this as one not eight ways so three digits three digit even numbers are one not eight so three digit even numbers are 108 so now next going into the third problem what's the third problem we'll see so now here what is it given over here it's given how many four letter codes can be formed using the first 10 letters of the english alphabet if no letter can be repeated so if one, uh, one letter is repeated then you cannot form a four letter code so how do we form this code we'll just see so here in the solution part here we have that four letter code so one two three four now what are the ten letters the first ten letters of the english alphabet will just write here a b c d e f two three four five g h i j 
सो यू हैविंग वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन अब टू जे एल आई सो नाउ यर यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट फोर लेटर कोड फॉर दिस टू फॉर्म विच आर फ्रॉम दिस फर्स्ट लेटर्स टेन लेटर्स ऑफ द इंग्लिश एल्फाबेट सो अगेन बाय द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ मल्टीप्लिकेशन प्रिंसिपल बाय मल्टीप्लिकेशन प्रिंसिपल हाउ डू वी डू दिस विच एस सी so the first alphabet which is selected can be done in how many ways it can be done in ten ways now the second alphabet can be so suppose if you are taking out a from this so the remaining nine can be arranged in how many ways it can be arranged in nine ways next again if you are having this is should not be repeated so remove that so the remaining eight alphabets can be arranged in eight ways next you having again if c is removed the last that is the fourth uh, code letter should be not any of a b c it should be the remaining so it can be run in seven ways so 10 into 9 into 8 into 7 which will give us here you can write this as 90 into 56 Which is equal to six zero zero so five zero four zero we are getting. So total number of letter codes, four letter codes which are formed by this ten English alphabets. The total number of four letter codes formed are. Five zero four zero. So then we'll go into the next problem. The fourth one: How many five-digit telephone numbers can be constructed using the digit zero to nine if each number starts with sixty-seven and no digit appears more than once? So over here, first you can always this is fixed over here. Sixty-seven it starts with six seven. So in the solution part. Here you are having the digits as zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now here it is always fixed over here that this is starting with six, seven. This five-digit number. So here you are having, and this here you can remove the six, seven, and uh, you can remove the six, seven. It's it can be, and the remaining all whatever is left out and no digit appears more than once. So how do we select these numbers which will which are given over here? We'll see that. See over here you are having that in this in this third block because six seven are fixed, so we no need to do anything with this six seven is already there. So how many more numbers are left over here? One two three four five six seven eight. So this can be done in by multi principle of multiplication or multiplication principle we have. the remaining eight numbers can be arranged in eight ways now here if zero is already into it so we remove zero the remaining numbers can be arranged in seven ways that is for this entry next for the last entry it can be arranged in six ways so this will be 56 into 6 which is equal to 3 30 Six. So this can be here. We can tell that the number of uh, how many five-digit number telephone numbers can be constructed using the digit this one. Now here you are having again. Uh, this has to start with six seven. So it is fixed over there. Those new numbers also no need to be arranged. It can be uh, uh, if they tell that they, it starts with either six or seven, then again you will arrange them in two ways. But here because if they are telling that it is starting with sixty seven, this can be done only in one way. So it can be one into eight into seven into six. So the answer for this year you are going to get it as equal to three thirty six. So there are three thirty six five digit telephone numbers can be constructed. using the digits 
zero to nine if each number starts with six seven so this is the way we do the fourth one now we'll go into what is so here coin is tossed three times and the outcomes are recorded so how many possible outcomes are there we have to find out over here so here a coin is tossed how many times over here it is tossed three times so in the solution part what will we have we'll just see so on tossing the coin you know that when you toss toss a coin you'll get two outcomes so tossing a coin we have two outcomes what are the two outcomes it can be a head or a tail so these are the possible outcomes so here h or t that is head or a tail so again if we use by multiplication principle how do we do this we'll see we are having here the first you are having how many you is coin is tossed how many times three times it is tossed so the first time when it is tossed you can get either the outcomes 2 into 2 that is uh, either you can get a head or a tail when it's tossed the second time also you get again two outcomes so into 2 again when it is tossed third time you will get again two outcomes that is either head or a tail so therefore they totally how many outcomes so the number of possible outcomes are number of possible outcomes when three coins are tossed is eight so if we use the multiplication principle then it becomes easy the fifth problem is uh, sixth problem is given five flags of different colors how many different signals can be generated if each signal requires the use of two flags one below the other so now we are five flags this is 1 2 3 4 5 we are having okay now these flags if it has to be taken the signal which has to be generated it should consists of use of two flags so if suppose we are using this flag it is fixed over here this is first one is fixed so this the first color can be any color isn't it so it can be done in five ways now the second one when one is fixed the remaining you have to take it from if you are covering one of them the tick mark the remaining four can be done in this many ways so four ways isn't it so therefore the number of ways which you can generate this flag if by require which requires the use of two flags one below the other is 20 ways so we we'll just write down how do we write this answer we'll see so by multiplication principle again you use multiplication principle here you can tell that the in the two colors of the flag the first color can be any of the five flag any of the five flags and the second one when the first color is fixed you can select from the other colors only four in four ways so it can be done in this way it can be done in 20 ways so number of different signals signals possible is equal to 20 ways it can be done in 20 ways this can be done in this way so this is the way we can do this problem